You believe in your case, you make the judge believe in your case. Don't be intimidated by the fact that you're not a lawyer because... The other guy's not a lawyer either. Exactly. Neil, come on up here and tell him how it's done. I had a problem with my landlord. He says I didn't give him 30 days notice to move. I say I did. He didn't want to give me my deposit money. Guess what? I got it. Next time, Neil will tell you how he got it. I got your message. Yeah, thank you for coming by. I got a little project for you, but it's gonna have to wait. I've got classes all we'll afternoon. Tomorrow, Neil, I gotta go. Do, buddy, do me a favor. Clean this stuff up. The uh, Blackboard for me, a French for Travelers class comes in here next. <laughs> oh, cold hands. I have a cold heart, too. No way. Mm. You get to know me better, you'll see. Mm. Maybe this afternoon, what time's your last class? Uh, actually, I'm done. I have to go meet my mom. We're, uh, taking pictures. Mm. Is she a model? No. She's a judge. The Bar Association is honoring her, and they need a picture of her for the tribute book, so... Since I am kind of a photographer... I know. I'm waiting for you to do a session with me. <laughs> mm. I have to go. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. That's right, baby. Walk away. He's not for you. I know, Your Honor. I know I messed up in the past, but these are my kids. And I promise you I'd never mess up where my kids are involved. Okay, Miss Lewis. Because I hate to see any child grow up without its mother, I'm going to trust that you'll do it right this time. I will, Your Honor. I promise on my life. It's their lives I'm concerned about. You do this right now, you hear me? I am going to deny the petition of placement in foster care. With all due respect, Your Honor, we feel Janelle Lewis has already proven she is an unfit mother. I know your position, Counselor. It's also the position of social services. I know that, and I haven't taken your input lightly, but I feel that Miss Lewis deserves another chance. Now, in two months, I want all interested parties back here. And Miss Lewis? Yes, Your Honor? At that time, I want concrete evidence that you have held a steady job and that you've enrolled in parenting classes. Your Honor, if I may... You have had your say, Counselor. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Yes. Janelle, your children need you. Don't disappoint them again. Court dismissed. Okay, what do you want me to do? Mm, let's see a big smile. <laughs> now give me one of those serious judge faces. <laughs> there you are. Hi, Paula. <laughs> oh, great. Aunt Paula, get in there. On perfect symmetry, a mentor and her prize student. I'm here to tell you who's presenting your award at the dinner. Who? Shake hands. Me. 
Really? Okay, come on down here. Come on down here. I want to hear all about this. <clears throat> now, you know, Paula, it's harder for good friends to lie, but I expect lies, good <laughs> ones. <laughs> How about taking a picture of me and Beth? Oh, sure. No, 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 no. The whole point I got into photography was so I did not have to be on that side of the camera. Come on, what do I do? Push that button. <laughs> All right. Say cheese. 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 <laughs> okay, great. Uh, thank you. Honey, you want to join Paula and I for dinner tonight? Uh, no, I can't. I have to go to the Eclectic Cafe by 5.30. Well, that place over on Main? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm meeting the manager. He, he's going to look at my portfolio. He displays student art from time to time, so... Ooh, cross your fingers. Oh, we will, we will. Good luck. So when did you hear about this? Just... Sorry it's taking so long, it's been crazy. No, no problem, glad to meet you. Great, well let's see what you brought. Okay, I hope you like black and white. Hi, I'm non-fat iced latte, please. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? Oh, hey, Steve. Mm. Wow, great composition. I love the way you use light. What is this guy, your plant or something? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just very impressed. Tell him this, have we ever met, what's your name? Beth. Beth, have we ever met before? Mm, nope. <laughs> Stephen Primes. Beth Nolton. Hi, Beth. What do you think? I think... You have talent. Hang on, I'm gonna go see what we got open. Can't believe it. You should believe it. <laughs> Your stuff is great. Thank you. Make that too. One for the proverbial starving artist here. <laughs> you know, Beth, I need some pictures for business. Typically eight by ten stuff, but I'm trying to avoid that whole, you know, indoor studio, suit and tie. Routine. All right, yeah. What do you say? What, me? Yes. You mean it? Absolutely. With that kind of work, we could meet here Saturday around 1. Uh, maybe get some lunch. Just take the whole afternoon. Great. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. Lights okay? Oh, yeah, the lights are really nice. Okay. A little bit later, we'll get some of the gold now. Primes. Kyle Kennedy. I took your small claims class a few years back. Oh, great. You ready, Beth? Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Call you later. See you around. Yeah. 
These are great. You have an amazing eye. These are just what I wanted, Beth. Are you sure? If they're not, I can decide. I hope you don't already have one. <laughs> no, no, I, I... You stamp it on the back of your prints. And that way, you'll always get credit when you're public. <laughs> I like your confidence in me. It's more than confidence. I'm convinced. Can I ask you something? Who gave you this? It was my dad. He died two years ago. Oh, sorry. Thought maybe it was that kid. What's his name? Kevin? Kyle. Kyle. So, uh, you two aren't quite at the, uh, jewelry stage yet, huh? <laughs> uh, I have to run. Aren't you gonna open your check? This is way too much. From where I'm sitting, it's a bargain. Thank you. I... So I got my first photography job. A commission? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Tell me about it. Well, I met this guy at the Eclectic Cafe. And he saw my stuff and liked it and wanted me to do some publicity shots for the law journal. A lawyer? Do I know him? No, no. Stephen Primes is not a lawyer. He, he teaches at school. I think it's wonderful, Beth. I guess this makes you a professional photographer, huh? Yeah, I guess. Well, don't be so modest. I mean, this is big. This is really big. I don't know, but... But what? Well, he paid me too much. I mean, I know I shouldn't complain, but... Maybe he recognizes talent. You're right. Just looking. You see the clarity that I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. That? Oh, I like this one. Is it autofocus? How you doing? Um, I was looking for Beth Knowlton. Uh, she got off at 2 o'clock today. Oh, I thought you were from noon to 6. Different days, different times. Can yeah. I ask you another question? Okay. Anything. Okay. You said this has auto... Got you a surprise. Another stuffed toy. <laughs> Cute, wasn't he? I thought you'd like this. It's a Martin Newmeyer original print. It's great. Well, I can't accept that. I'm sure you can. I'll have a frame for you. No, really. Will you stop? It's just a little something for our anniversary. Our anniversary? Two weeks since we met. <sighs> I thought we might go out to dinner tonight to celebrate. Oh, I can't. I have work and, uh, and I have finals. Finals? <laughs> American literature and 20th century Mexican art? With your grades, you'll knock those out in no time. What, are you checking on me? 
Some girls would be flattered. Excuse me, I have to kick out. Don't go too far. Do I look like I don't eat? Honey, I've seen what you consider a meal. Mom, I live two blocks from the market. Yeah, a convenience store that sells taco shells and tea bags. <laughs> Enough, okay? I'm, I'm fine. You always say that. And you refuse to believe it. Mom, I don't need every little detail of my life managed. I, I'm not one of your court cases. No, you're not one of my cases, Beth. You're my child. And it's just you and me now. You know, Dad used to let me fend for myself. Well, we both know your dad was a soft touch. I miss him. Uh, so do I. You know the one thing I miss about him the most? His corny jokes. No, I don't miss those. I miss those long rides to Sedona and Oak Creek Canyon. Come on, no, give me that look. Thank you for enough towels for my family of ten. Then an outlet was having a sale. I gotta get out of here before you try to load the sofa into my car. Thank you. Thank you a ton. You mean you're gonna leave without telling me about that new guy you're seeing? Almost a clean getaway. But not quite. Beth, honey, I'm not meddling. I'm just curious. Okay, here it is. The whole scoop. Ready? You want to write it down? Daughter, don't be smart. Okay, there is this one guy, whoa, that I like. Everything's covered. I'm fine. Everything is under control. Well, I just thought you might want to bring him by, you know, whenever you're ready. Just a thought. Actually, I'm meeting him at the Eclectic Cafe tonight. Want to come by later for coffee? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bye. Thank you. place great on weekends and it's like there's a whole different crowd different crowd all right we should get some uh real food huh um hello yes sir. can we get like a big antipasto maybe two or three little pasta things guys cocktails okay oh, i guess i should do one mm -hmm. got a couple of things well one thing that you got to learn you're with a beautiful woman here you got to learn how to treat her right Okay, 
Come on, big one. <laughs> Come on, that's my girl. So, is this your top of the line? Mm-hmm. What about that telephoto lens? That'd give me better range, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You you probably wouldn't use it much. I mean, unless you were into uh, nature things or something. We should do that some weekend. Take our cameras, go up to the mountains. Oh, this is great. Yeah. I'll take it. Is there anything else you think I need? Oh, no. You have more equipment here than Ansel Adams. <laughs> You're going to get a nice commission on this. On the house. Oh, thanks. Hey, yeah. Beth, get him one of those camera bags. It's on the house, too. Thank you. Have you seen this? Yeah. Man, you'd be surprised how much use you can get out of one of these things. Not just weddings and holidays. Check it out. You're on the monitor. <laughs> Looking good. Give me that smile. That's great. <laughs> Insurance, record keeping, all kinds of stuff, man. And you know what they say. One picture is worth a thousand words, right? Beth, come here. What's this? And the bride and groom across the threshold. Dum, what are you dum, doing? Dum, dum, Steven, dum. put me down. Put me down. <laughs> Tony Brown, this is the best referral I've had in years. It was criminal the way that hot water scalded that poor girl's back. Steve, I know this hotel chain. These guys play very hard ball. So you force a quick settlement. They know you put a 13-year-old girl in front of a jury. They've got a huge problem. All right. You got your paperwork? I got the paperwork. Would you hold on one second, Ron? Excuse me. Uh, Judge Lawton. I was hoping I'd run into you. Do I know you? I'm... Uh, Beth's friend, Stephen, Stephen Primes. She did tell you about us, I mean. Yes, I think she did mention it, yeah. We've been spending quite a lot of time together. I was hoping that I would meet you. I tell you what a fabulous daughter you've raised. Thank but you. Then you know that. Ah. It's very nice meeting you. Uh, Stephen, is it? Right, Stephen, with a PH. Judge Knowlton, I'm going to marry her daughter. Should be good for business. No four course meal? Oh, well, I would have. But. <laughs> By the way, I um, ran into a friend of yours down at the courthouse today. A friend of mine? Yeah, said you two were dating. Oh, Kyle. No, no, Stephen something. What? What's wrong? Stephen Primes? God, he is so strange. He's that guy that I took pictures of, and he's always there. He's acting like my boyfriend. He leaves me these little gifts. He doesn't let me breathe. Besides, he's, he's like middle-aged. I noticed. So then he's not the one you're seeing. No, no. Well, Kyle is the guy that I'm seeing, but the Steven guy doesn't screw it up. I mean, he shows up. He ambushes me. He doesn't take a hint. I don't know what to do. Maybe you have to give him more than a hint. Look, draw the line, Beth. 
Establish parameters and empower yourself. Something I can't do for you. I'm not asking you to do anything for me, Mom. It's just that, I mean, he's nice to me. I don't want to be mean to him. Well, a little rejection is not going to crush this guy's ego, believe me. Not Stephen with a PH primes. I've got so much to tell you, so call me, okay? I miss you. Maybe I'm overreacting here, but it seems like whenever you and I go somewhere together, this guy shows up. I know, I know. Now, either he's got incredible psychic powers, or someone tells him exactly where we're going to be. Beth. I'm, I'm going to do something about it. When, Beth? Soon. Look, I don't like being the guy in the way. You're not. It's... It's just he seems to always be two steps ahead of me, you know? Then run faster. That is if you want to. Don't hassle me, Kyle. I get enough of it from him, okay? But that's it? That's all you have to say? Well, what more do you want me to say? What can I do? Tell me, what can I do? Yeah, I'm jealous. 
Hey, you didn't call me back. That's all right. I'll let it go this time. Hey, you want to grab some lunch? Since you're dressed for it, how about seafood? <laughs> hey, Beth, these are the jokes. It doesn't get any better than this. I, I have some place to be, okay? I'm late. You get Thursdays off. Yeah, well, um... I made plans, okay? I can't find my keys. What? I said I can't find my keys. Oh, well, let's retrace your steps. Where have you been today? Um, American Lit, lunch at the patio, the pool. Where else? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? I'm just trying to help, Beth. I mean, I'd be happy to call you a locksmith or give you a ride home, whatever you need. I'm fine. I'll manage. It's just everything, all right? It's today. Wait a second. Hello. I must have dropped them. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you. It's okay. Saying I'm sorry. Ah, the old pizza peace offering, eh? <laughs> yeah, let me hear you say that five times fast. Pizza peace offering, pizza peace offering, pizza peace offering. Pizza offering. That's how she gets started in domestic court. She sounds cool. Well, she is. Would you ever like consider fixing my parking ticket? Joke, only a joke. I never get tickets. I'm totally law abiding. Totally. beautiful as you are? Well, she's beautiful, but I look like my dad. <laughs> so, am I coming up? For a while. <laughs> yeah, I 
still the place I remember. Nope, hasn't changed much since last week. Am I thirsty? Well, you know where the refrigerator is. It's just diet soda, though. No beer or anything. I'll meet you in there. this dear beth let's share this on our anniversary saturday night love s i i have no idea where that came from well i hate to ruin your celebration but this is the old guy right beth old guys are into champagne not a pedestrian bottle of beer like us kids <sighs> guess you didn't want to back off that badly did you kyle you're being ridiculous Sorry, I guess I'm just being juvenile. Gauche, young and stupid, right? No, I swear I do not know how it got there. Maybe he left it with my neighbor. She has a key. But there is no anniversary. There is no date. There is nothing. Well, this is just a little too bogus for me. I, I don't know what to say. Believe me, I've heard enough. Kyle, listen to me. Kyle, he's crazy, all right? No. I kept thinking maybe the attraction had something to do with missing your dad, you know? What? I'd understand that, I guess, but this... I can't handle this. You're, you're punishing me for something that I didn't do that never happened, Kyle. I don't like a crowd, Beth. He's out of your life. Give me a call. I love that you do. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Cheers. I'm glad you're here. Oh, so nice to be here. Martha, the, the garden looks wonderful. Oh, thank you. You're a great spot for a wedding. Mm -hmm. What? What are you talking about, Wayne? Martha's not getting married. No. No, not Martha. Beth. What? I'm not getting married. Oh, no. Courthouse gossip. You know you can't keep a secret around there. What gossip is that? Beth's engaged. To a consultant? Named, um, Stephen Primes? Excuse me. Did I say something wrong? Martha. How is she? Well, she's really upset, you know. I, I, I didn't realize how strange this situation had gotten with this guy, this Stephen Primes. I've seen him around. He's a guy who works all the legal margins. Well, he's everywhere, Paula. He's encroached on her life. He's even managed to sabotage a nice little romance she had going on. I, I mean, it's not as though he's crossed the letter of the law, but his behavior is just so... Inappropriate. Yeah, exactly. Now she thinks he's even gotten into her apartment somehow, and that scares the hell out of me. Worse, if she's imagined all this. There's so somebody I want you to call. His name is Danny Zerbo. He's a PI. Probably didn't seem like any big deal at the time. It never does. A few phone calls, chance encounters, little notes, special cards. I mean, these may seem pretty innocuous to you, but... They're really strange. Yeah. Suddenly, this guy seems to know an awful lot about your life, your time, and your friends. Exactly. I mean, he knows that I'm a judge, a lawyer. What does he think I'm going to do, sanction this behavior? Yeah. <laughs> you being a judge is not going to protect your daughter against this guy. Especially if he's got an obsessive personality. It could even be a turn-on. Figures if he can get to the daughter, he can get to the mother. A mother who's a lot more successful than he's ever going to be. Control is a big issue to these guys.
Beth, I gotta ask you a question. And you gotta tell me the truth. Have you ever had any physical contact with this guy? No. I mean, even kissing anything? Absolutely not. You sure? Yeah, I can't stand it when he touches me. What do you mean when he touches you? Well, I don't know. He just kind of sneaks it in, you know? He puts an arm around my shoulder or, or around my waist. And one time when I was working, he, he came in and he tried to pick me up and, and carry me. It was awful. It's gradual escalation. He's made physical contact. This guy is crossing some psychological barriers. All right, I have heard enough. You are coming home to live with me. End of story. No, but then he controls my whole life. Now, hold on a minute here. Why don't y'all let me have a little talk with him? Maybe I can reason with him. Intimidate him. It'll be his choice. Your legal options here are pretty limited. Well, you know that. Good news is, sooner or later, most of these guys find somebody else, and they just go away. Yeah, and then some other woman has to deal with it, right? Nice to meet you, Mr. Serbo. Just these guys, not formal guys. I'll be in touch. I don't know what to think of Mr. Zerbo. I mean, I can't believe that I am dealing professionally with a character like that. I don't know, he seems pretty nice to me. That may be part of your problem. Thank you. Beth, oh, I'm sorry, honey. I, I only meant that sometimes you're too nice for your own good. in mind. All right, he got an investigator that handles most of my stuff exclusively, but never know when I'll have an overflow. You don't seem to get it. I got a case, and you're the object of it. Nice boots. I got mine down in Nogales. I could give you the guy's name. He doesn't speak hey. a lot. Hey, I'm here to talk to you about Beth Nolan. Now, I want to say this real clear so you understand. Back off, Slick. Way off. Beth can make her own decisions about who she wants to be with. She already has. Leave her alone. This is about the mother, isn't it? She's the one that hired you. Mr. Zerbo, this is one confused and very lonely lady. She didn't tell you she was interested in me way before I even met Beth, did she? No. You see, the judge simply couldn't handle my being with Beth instead it was her. It's a typical overreaction. You know women. So before you say another thing, I suggest you look there. Before you find yourself in a really sticky situation, legally sticky, if you know what I mean. You're a very confused fellow in a lot of ways, Mr. Prime. So I'm just gonna say this once, and consider yourself warned. This is not about what the mother wants. It's about what the girl wants. Beth, she's a nice kid. Too nice to tell you to your face that she thinks you're weird and scary. I don't believe that. Scary and way too old, man. Nice earring. What can I do for you? Beth. Beth no longer works here. How come? She had a reason. Okay. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, that's a great show. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Beth. I've got an hour scheduled, all right? Yeah, just don't use up all the toner, okay? I'm gonna go get a sandwich. You want something? 
Hey guys. Hey. Go. So you didn't uh, see his face at all? No, but I know that it was him. I need more to go on. Are you sure that it wasn't this... this guy, Lewis? I'm positive it was Stephen Primes. This isn't a stunt of someone who knows the law. It's more like something a kid would do. Officer Wellman, let's get something straight right now. This was not a stunt. This was an assault. This man has been following my daughter around for weeks. And age is obviously no guarantee of stability or maturity. Don't get me wrong, Judge. We're going to look into this. So this means that he'll probably get away with it, right? I'm saying we're going to do everything we can, but we've got no grounds for arrest. Excuse me. So listen, you got my number here. Yes, sir. All right. Beth, we're going to decide right now if I'm going to stay with you or you're going to come back to live with me for a while. colleague, Martha. It might be considered a conflict. I understand your need to recuse yourself, Wayne, but I'm just trying to buy her a little time. I mean, I know it's a simple restraining order, but if I go through the court system, it's going to take a few days. And with this lunatic, every day makes a difference. Well, ma'am, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if something happened to Beth. My clerk will have it ready by noon. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Can I help you? Stephen Pro? That's right. Have a nice day. No. Law. And no person will come. religious setting. There will be no religious music or symbols permitted. There will be no family members present. They won't be there to stop us again. Don't try to protect yourself from my eternal love. 
It, it looks as deranged as it sounds. This guy is a lonely time. He faxes to your house. In the middle of the night. I'm not even so sure she's safe with me. Why don't you let me get a couple of bikers I know and we'll go over there. Don't even think about it. I mean, he may not be a lawyer, but he knows his way around the legal system. Not that I'd mind being sued if I thought it would stop him. Something will. We just gotta find that button. Yeah, that's great. This is um, that statement to the police and the restraining order, which this letter violates. I mean, I want you to compare the handwriting in this letter to the earlier ones. If that isn't enough to scare you. I can see why you're upset. He is irrational and obsessive. And I don't think he should be allowed to continue teaching at this campus around vulnerable young women. I'm giving you enough documentation here legally to fire him. I'm afraid it's not that cut and dried. You see, he's not a real faculty member. He's a freelancer. He just rents classroom space here. And his lease was just renewed. Now, I, I could approach the board of trustees about breaking the lease, but you know Mr. Primes. I yes, I know, I know. He'll sue. I will look into this. I can't promise you anything, but... Thank you very much. Two months next week, Your Honor. I've never been clean and sober that long since. I can't even say how long. Well, that's quite an achievement, Miss Lewis. The court congratulates you. Now, what about the other terms of the probation? Job training and parenting classes? Well, um, I've enrolled in Beautician's College. And I can give a real professional manicure now. Um, I can come by later and show you. That won't be necessary. What about the parenting classes? Um, not yet. That's not good enough. Well, I don't see how you can expect me to do this all at once. I mean, when am I supposed to have time for me? I want you back here in two weeks with proof of enrollment in a parenting class. Two weeks. Is that understood? All right. Bitch. Miss Lewis, I'm warning you. I'm sorry. I, I just, I have a short fuse. It's precisely why you need that class. Well, we're coming up on the hour. We will take a 20-minute recess. All right. that your intimidation won't work. You are to stay away from my daughter, my home, and my courtroom. Is that clear? My intimidation? This state has laws against harassment, Mr. Prime. I know the laws in this state as well as you do, Judge. I know what the legal parameters are here. You better understand that if you don't stop this mental terrorism against my daughter, I will use every legal means that to... That is just great. You officers of the court and your smug justice, you want to talk about the court order you had served on me, signed by one of your cronies? You thought I wouldn't check on that? I'm way ahead of you, Judge. I've got written proof, solid evidence. You're going to be up on charges. Legal malpractice, Judge. Collusion. You raving lunatic. You stay away from my daughter, you hear me? You ought to be recalled, lady! I'm so glad you decided to move back in. Just until I get my new apartment, okay? I know, I know. I just like having you around. I just, I just have to get my life back the way that it was, you know? I can't believe we forgot the sunblock. That's half the reason I went there. That's all right. It doesn't matter. I'll get some later. I'm gonna go ahead and set. Okay. Oh, when you're there, you'll get some cherries, because they're really great, okay? All right.
No. Don't touch that. Don't touch a thing. Hey, check this out. Wow. Come on. What's going on? Oh, somebody broke in, vandalized that house. You're kidding me. In this neighborhood? The judge's house, too. Yeah, over there. Crazy people out there. Yeah, go ahead and book the tickets, Mary. Okay, thanks. Beth, how fast can you pack? I booked a 6 p.m. flight to Denver. How's 10 seconds? No, we don't need to Oh, can you get them to reassign my caseload? Of course. I'll keep an eye on the situation here. Great. My brother Duncan has a large ranch outside of Denver, and I'll call you with the number. Fine. If your people find any evidence, no matter how small it Don't is... Don't worry, ma'am. We'll go over it with a fine-tooth comb. You know, I've had women tell me that they don't feel safe in their own homes. Now I understand it all too well. That miserable. He knew just when we'd be gone. He was watching. how much tension you're under until you're not under it anymore. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I heard Beth laugh out loud. It sounds wonderful. Yeah, it's great to see the kids playing together again. It's sad, you know, for cousins to grow up so far apart. Duncan, it's really good of you to take her in like this. We love her. And I don't want you to worry about a thing, Marty. She's going to be just fine with us. I'd like her to take your last name, if that's okay with you. Just as an extra precaution. Elizabeth Emerson. Got a nice ring. K-N-O-W. Oh, I got another class. L-T-O-N, Beth. Also try Elizabeth. It's a new listing. Get into the phone system, see what you can find out. Start with the Phoenix area, then check Tucson and you. Wait a minute, the whole state? Just do it, Neil. The quicker you do it, the sooner you get paid. Look, buddy. This is the third message I've left, and you're beginning to piss me off. Now, I know you know where she is, and I want that information. Now! Five minutes, or you're going to regret it. You better hear me, or you're dead. Dead! Came back from a camping trip Sunday and this was waiting. Ten messages from this guy. This is crap. You recognize the voice? Of course I do. He sounds like he's getting worse. This guy isn't gonna stop until he gets what he wants. Wait, can't you go after him with this? Isn't it threatening somebody? Not well, no, if he made the calls to me or Beth, then the restraining order would apply, but it doesn't extend to you. How about tapping his phones? Well, it's illegal. I mean, I would have to rule it inadmissible if somebody brought it into my courtroom. Well, but you can get a court order for his phone records. We could start to build a case against him that way. We didn't get that started. Do it. You don't want to keep this. I guess. Thanks. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Just sorry it had to be this way. How's she doing? She's doing fine. I give her a really hard time about this guy. I was jealous, you know. I know, I know, but she understands. Please, tell her I'm sorry. I'll do that.
I don't believe it. The court system and experienced PI, the police department, there's not a damned thing that any one of us can do to protect my daughter. And that guy is out there like a scorpion, just waiting to strike. You have to use your patience here. Hey, that is the one thing he does not have. Sorry, Mr. Primes, but her records have been transferred and that's all the information I can give out. I understand the rules. It's just that she asked me to send her her midterm Would grade. Would you excuse me for just one second? Sure. Hello, registrar. Yeah, um, what you need to do is send a check for $25 and a self-addressed type on board. Okay, sure. Move on. So, Mr. Primes, if you want to... I think I got it. There's an E period Knowlton North Arroyo in Denver. It's a new listing. There's two numbers. My guess is one's a fact. You get an address? Boy. Well, not so fast. It's E period. Uh, it could be Edward or Ezekiel. No, no, no. That's a girl trick. It makes the name sound more mysterious. A lot of guys out there like to make weird phone calls, I guess. It's going to be a nice fat check for you in the mail. Okay, okay, folks. Are you ready to win one? Yeah! Are you ready to get what you want out of life? Yeah! Then let's go for it. Right. Are you Elizabeth Nolte? Yeah, Liz. Yeah, I'm the new owner. Welcome. Thanks. Anything exciting in here? Looks like mostly junk mail. Take it easy. You too. I know where you are, Stephen. Oh, this great class, Mom. Yeah, I'm taking a sculpting with studio light, taking a commercial photography class. Oh, and there's even a photojournalism seminar given by Pauline Adro. She's this famous photographer. Yes, I do know her. She and I spoke at the same seminar a few years ago. You're kidding. Well, finally you're impressed with me. But more importantly, honey, it sounds like things are going pretty good for you. Yeah, things are fine. Listen, I gotta go. I have all these classes. Um, I love you. All right, sweetheart. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye. Hey. I'm sorry. Anything new? Well, he's been pretty quiet. No trips. No more calls to Beth's friends. I have noticed an awful lot of mail going out, though. As long as he's not sending it to Beth. Anything funny around here? No, not really. Maybe he's forgotten about us. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, but I doubt it. A guy's just obsessed. Get him back off that fast. Whatever you say, Z. Did you really think I wouldn't find you? Did you really think I'd let you get away? I am coming for you, Elizabeth. Who is this? Hello? sure made some impression on this guy. I don't know any Stephen in Phoenix. 
That's what's so bizarre. I have no idea who this guy is. What he looks like, why he fixated on me. No last name, no return address. It's going to be hard to protect you from a nameless, faceless guy in another state. I finally buy the perfect house. I organize things so I can work out of here. My life was so good. This guy is not going to chase me out of my house. Well, we, uh, we'll keep a watch on the area. Mm -hmm. And uh, you alert us if you see anything strange. People, cars, anything. Ask for me. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe this guy will stay in Phoenix. I oh, know, I've seen too much TV. They really want you. They find a way to get you. The spooky thing is that I have no idea what he looks like. I mean, he could be standing next to me in line at the supermarket or sitting by me in the movies. How would I know? Yeah, well, you're right. Elizabeth. Big plans. So I hope you're ready. Ready for the big day. Didn't like that, did you? Shark. Sometime between 9 o'clock last night and 8 o'clock this morning. His car's not there. He's nowhere to be found. He, he called in school sick. He's not at his house either. All right, all right. Take it easy. So, he's not at work and he's not at home. Well, maybe we went to look at the Grand Canyon. Well, that's doubtful. Well, he didn't fly. His car's not at the airport. I got sources at the airport security. Nobody can miss that car of his. Yeah, at the trot, right? You want me to get on a plane to Denver right now? Give it till the end of the day, see if he turns up. And if not, yes, go. I mean, my God, how do you predict what a crazy man's gonna do next? What's the rush? Ah, uh, I have class. Actually, a photojournalism seminar. Right. A famous lady photographer. Photojournalist, actually. Woman photojournalist. Right. You keep working on me. Now, hold on. Your mother sure used to. <laughs> Hello? Martha? You okay? Yeah, she's standing right here. Famous woman judge. Wants a word with you. <laughs> Hello. What kind of new development? Mm-hmm. I will be careful. Mom, I'm not going to let him ruin my life here, too, okay? Well, I have a new name. 
I live in a new state. Right. I, Mom, he's not going to find me, I promise. I have to go, okay? I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. What's the problem? found you again. Open the door, Beth. I've got a gun and all. You who's it? Maybe the siren scared him away. And you sure that's the same guy in the video? Absolutely. Oh, God, those crazed eyes. And you never saw him before tonight other than on tape? You know the girl? No, I've never seen her. I'm going to get you. There's something on the glass. Right there. See the backwards letters? D-O-B-E? It's obviously a camera store. And there's all this video equipment. Here's the envelope. Couple of the year. It's postmarked Phoenix, just like everything else. Well, at least now we have somewhere to start. What if he comes back? What if he's out there somewhere, just waiting? Eric? Hey. I got your message on the machine. You sounded upset. What's going on? I got this strange phone call from this cop in Colorado, right? And it turns out that there is another Elizabeth Knowlton living outside of Denver who was sent to videotape from Stephen Primes. Another Elizabeth Knowlton? Yep, and I asked them if they could just give her my phone number. Did she call you? Fifteen minutes later. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Primes has known all along that Beth is in Denver. Only he's harassing the wrong woman. Well, it's kind of gone beyond harassment. Now, according to what this Liz tells me, this guy showed up at her house the other night and he tried to break down the front door. Oh, my God. So he's in Denver. This Liz gave me your phone number, man. In case you want to give her a call. Judge Knowlton? You all right, man? Yeah. I just thought it was over, that's all. I thought we had beaten him. I know he's so close to her and I'm so far away. I recognize you from the video. No, he did not follow me. Okay. I'm sorry, this is weird, huh? Yeah. Just tell me what happened. He, uh, he didn't get in, did he? No. It was close. It was too close. Did he see you? I don't think so. Sit here? Mm. Oh, good. I mean, maybe he still thinks you're me, right? I was screaming. Of course, it was at the top of my lungs, so you might not have realized. Um, Beth, how did you ever, um, meet this guy? Let me make something really clear, okay? This guy is not an ex-boyfriend of mine. This is not somebody that I had sex with or even had a romance with. I mean, he came out of nowhere and glommed on to me. I mean, he is like a vampire. Yes, he got my phone number. Then I changed it. I got a new phone number, unlisted. And then he got that. And then every day he sent this mail. You've seen this? Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's the same awful handwriting. 
Mm -hmm. I've seen it. He is so weird. What's this? The wedding of Elizabeth Emerson Knowlton and Stephen David Primes on the 17th of August? Ugh. The 17th, again. What is with that date? I don't know. It's... Well, we met on May 17th. He has this fixation on, on anniversaries. Two-week anniversary, one-month anniversary. Oh, that's really weird. I bet he's going to be at your house on the 17th. Unless he finds me here first. It's so odd. I was anti-gun. I was anti-violence. Now, I could actually shoot him. I don't know what's happening to me. He's turning me into someone I never wanted to be. He, he, he loves control, you know? He's not going to give that up. If we want to get our lives back, we're going to have to to do something. Catch him breaking the law or, you know, set some kind of trap. I'll be the bait. Oh, wow. I want to do this. And since he hasn't seen Liz's face, he still thinks I'm Beth. This is preposterous. No, it's not. We move some of my stuff into her house, things that he will recognize. Then we let him see me. I mean, once he breaks in, we have grounds to arrest him. And it will be out of our lives, finally. Do you know how long it'll take the police to get out there? And just what do you expect to do in the meantime? Well, we haven't worked out every detail. Exactly. Beth, this Prime's character is crazy. And he's getting crazier by the minute. Yes, and we worry about him every minute. He is in my head. He is in my sleep. Beth, I know how frustrating this is. But this is not the way to solve the problem. I've been in touch with Aunt Patty, and I told her that you would be staying with her in Minneapolis. Oh, no! I am not going to let him follow me all over the country! All right, time out here just a second. See, your house is out in the country? It's very woodsy. And it's isolated. Would you enough to hide some cops? I mean, assuming they're a little smaller than I am. Definitely. Why are you encouraging them? Look, I know this is risky. But the young lady's got a point. Unless we start taking some chances with this guy, he's gonna run us all into the ground. I don't believe I'm considering it. Right now, I don't like this, but I realize I agreed to it, so go ahead, tell me what you're thinking. Where do you plan on putting a surveillance equipment? Well, the first thing we do is get set up in this abandoned van here. We're going to do everything we can to cooperate with you, Judge Knowlton, but this is kind of a big operation for what if. I realize that, and I appreciate it. And you understand that we're going to have to pull our people out of here first thing in the morning? Yes, I understand. All right. I'm going to go check this barn out here. Hey, it's worth a shot, lady. Put the spare key in an envelope, and I have written down the security code. Are you sure you want to turn on the security system? I mean, maybe we should... I mean, don't we want him to, to break in? We'll lock the doors, and then we'll leave one window open a crack. You sure you want to make it that difficult? I mean, why not leave all the doors and windows wide open? Perhaps a trail of breadcrumbs leading into the bedroom. Mom, the police are going to be right outside. This guy has sneaked by law enforcement a half a dozen times. What makes you think he won't do it again? I don't know. You said that I had to learn to empower myself, that you couldn't do it for me. Well, fine, I agree. 
It's just that every time I try, you veto it or, or, or put me on a plane to somewhere. I, I cannot let you handle everything for me anymore, Mom. Just be careful, Beth. I don't want to have to say I told you so. Should we kill the light? Should we turn off the lights, Beth? Yeah. No. It's just the guy down the road. Oh. All right. I've got a meeting early tomorrow morning. Are you going to be okay? I didn't want to give you this in front of your mother because I knew that she would freak out. I got it just in case, and it's loaded. Okay. I'm going to put it right under here. Okay. I'm going to be upstairs, all right? Okay. Liz. <laughs> Do you ever... Do you ever pray? Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Like tonight. Could I have let her talk me into this? <laughs> Beth, it's Liz. <sighs> Seven a.m. August eighteenth. Wake up. Forget about the back door and the security. Right. Sorry to put you to all this trouble. Uh, well, it wasn't, it wasn't a half bad theory. I'm sure we'd all rather have it turn out this way. Mm. Bye. My list. Thank you so much for trying. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you mind if um, Zerbo comes with you? file that report. I want to stay here with Beth and help her pack. Uh, oh, sure. We'll see you later on. All right. I never would have split up. 
Stephen. You don't tell me it's not true, Beth. I know you're tough, Judge. Nobody's good enough for your daughter, right? Believe me, Martha. I'm good enough. Go! Just go! Shut up! Okay. We're leaving, Beth. We're leaving. Yeah, I mean, he's right, Mom. I mean, if it wouldn't have been for you, he and I would have been together all this time. And you can't stop us anymore, so... Let's go. What, now I want to and you don't want to? Wait, you're not sure? I'm sure. Okay. Then let her go, so we can leave. Beth, what are you even talking to? Shut up! I'm gonna go get my watch. Hey. I told you it was my dad's. I'll, I'll just be a second. Okay? your idea of a wedding present? Drop that knife. Yeah. Drop it! You and hurt me, you love me. We both know that, Beth. We're gonna go away now. I've arranged everything. The wedding. The honeymoon. Just give me the gun, Beth. I don't think you understand. I don't love you. I love you. You make my skin crawl. You are not going to ruin my life. You cannot control me anymore. No, Beth, don't. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't you move. You're just like all the rest. Same right. Thought I'd come back and check on you. Like I said, weird, scary, and way too old, man. Let me silent. 